Hi, my name is John Smith. I am a solutions architect for Extra Hop Networks. Today I want to walk you through some integration I've done with three of my favorite products, obviously Extra Hop. Um, but in addition to that, I'm partnering with two other open platforms. Anomaly has a new VM called Stacks. And the stack server allows you to connect to thread intelligence. It allows you to connect to any taxi or sticks feed. And it's a really, really, um, a really great contribution to the security community and the thread intelligence community. That's this portion right over here. So we'll talk a little bit about that. But then I'm also integrating it with the uh, Slack, the, um, the, um, the collaboration software Slack. So I've got a Slack channel in the cloud. Uh, at packetjockey.slack.com and I've got a channel here called Virtual Sock. So here's here's kind of how it works. I have a Linux peer uh, running Python. Really it's a Python peer. You could, you could be a Windows peer. And I'm using the REST API that Stacks has to grab and pull down a list of known phishing attacks or no known phishing URLs. And what I'm doing is I'm taking with that same Python peer, I'm uploading that thread intelligence into the memcache that ExtraHop has. And now what that's going to let me do is it's going to let me see as ExtraHop sits back, and a little bit about ExtraHop here, it is a wired data analytics platform similar to your IDS or IPS, but we rebuild layer 7 flows, right? So what we're looking here for is if there's any connection to a known phishing site. And what we're going to do is, again, leverage the same open platform. We're going to, today, we're going to send a Slack message to the Virtual Sock channel. And we're also going to write the information to our local search appliance. But there are a number of things we can do. Um, this is one of the things I, I think are, is the future of, of security today is these systems need to be open. Uh, we've had a lot of closed platforms for a long time. Everything you're seeing here is leveraging the REST API for all three of these products. I'm using the REST API here to gather threat intelligence, and I'm using the REST API to send a Slack message to the Slack channel, and I'm also using the Open Memcache API to be able to send um, threat intelligence into our our memcache. But we can also email it. We can also send an SMS alert. There's a number of things we can do once we have the threat intelligence into the extra hop appliance. So real quickly, let me walk you through one of my new favorite products. Let's walk through the Anomaly uh, Stacks product. So this is kind of a police blotter, if you will, right, of, of everything that's kind of going on on the Internet. It gives you an idea of who your bad actors are, um, you know, what types of threats are out there and, and that are causing problems. If we look here at the activity, what I'm going to get, I want to look at, I want to sort this by high and medium high. I want to get the, the worst of the worst here. And so here I've got a list of some of your worst um, fishing sites that people can go to. And so what I want to be able to do is, if, is tell if someone on my network goes to one of these phishing sites. Now, this is my uh, company laptop, so I'm certainly not going to go to one of these sites on that laptop. And I'm not going to go to it on my Windows machine, but I will go to it on my Linux VM that I've got in my lab here. So um, let's take one of these and, and we'll go back to the drawing real quick. So I'm going to surf one of these known phishing sites uh, using wget from a command line and that should hopefully traverse the wire and the extra hop appliance should see that and it should update my virtual sock um, slack channel for me so let me go back to my thread intelligence here and i'm going to just grab uh, this guy i'm going to copy it and i'm going to go over to my linux server here and i'm just going to do a wget and when I was at RSAC this year, I think we're still at around six weeks to detect a breach. And uh, this isn't necessarily a detection, but it certainly can give you an idea of if one of your customers accesses a phishing site, and you can immediately get them to change their password. So I'm going to go ahead and go to this website. And you see there, in a matter of milliseconds, I'm alerted. 
Now, if you don't want to send this to Slack, we can send a link to one of our reports saying, hey, click on this link to go to a report seat if you don't want to put the full intelligence into this payload. But here you can see suspect site uh, accessed. It was a phishing URL. Here's the client. Here's the server. So I can issue an ACL. I can find out who owns this client and talk to them and get them to change their password immediately. And then I know which, uh, which website that they went to. But more importantly, I took a set of threat intelligence that... Um, you know, a lot of times the use of that, and I'm not down on logs, I'm a big fan of the SIM. In fact, we work very hard to make your SIM better. Um, in fact, we could, we could send a message to your SIM instead of making you parse through a terabyte of data. We can just send this message to your SIM if your workflows already exist there. But, but more importantly, what I, what I like about this is that we're basically doing this in real time. There's no back-end job. There's no back-end batch processing. We're grabbing this directly off the wire and you're alerted within milliseconds of what's going on. Again, we can take another one. Um, let's grab uh, maybe this guy here. And let's look for this one. And again, if you see that again, someone on my network accesses a known malicious site and within a few milliseconds I'm alerted that they've accessed that site. Hopefully what you've gotten from this is that first um, if, if your security products don't have a REST API they're going to be obsolete. If you're a vendor and you don't have a REST API your product will be obsolete. Um, they say there's no REST for the wicked. Um, there's the I would say uh, to, to change that around um, the obsolete have no rest, right? They, if you don't have a REST API, you're really going to find yourself in jeopardy. We're all trying to do this job with too few people. Every security team I run across has one, two, and in some cases, three open recs. There's a severe human capital crisis going on in security. And when you take solutions like anomalies, stacks, you take the good threat intelligence, and you engage the enemy by taking that threat intelligence, putting it into a wire data analytics platform like ExtraHop, and now you yet leverage a virtual SOC. You could have a, uh, an operations team spread around the world. Now you have a way to really, really speed up and really make the job a little bit easier, uh, you know, in terms of trying to battle today's threats. A lot of these breaches happen within minutes. Some of them happen within seconds. And so the sooner you can find out that somebody has accessed you know, a, a malicious site, um, the, the, the sooner you're going to be able to, you know, start the remediation process. In this case, you get a, you get an alert that someone's accessed a phishing site. You can start the, the incident response process literally within minutes of that happening. You can get the user to change their password so that if they've already gone in here, they've entered in some information and now someone else owns their passwords, well, guess what? You've already gone behind the scenes and fixed that because you've been alerted immediately. Again, uh, this is John Smith with Extra Hop Networks, and um, hopefully you've seen the value of using open platforms, and especially you've seen the value of leveraging your threat intelligence with wire data analytics from, from Extra Hop Networks. Thanks so much to the Anomaly Stacks team for a great contribution to the security community, and thanks so much for Slack uh, for giving me my free packet jockey Slack, uh, Slack environment. So again, uh, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.